Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. I'm back with another article from the Car Dealer magazine. I thought this one would be a really good one because it's going to get controversial, I think. I'm going to give you my views on what I think about this proposal uh, from Trading Standards. And I'm sure the comment section is going to be on fire with people giving their views on this. I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. But before we do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, what are you playing at? Just hit the subscribe button, it's completely free to do. It'll really help me out. And in return, I am giving away a Tag Heuer Formula One watch, brand new, boxed. It's an absolutely beautiful timepiece. I will be giving this away completely free to one of my subscribers as soon as we hit 75,000 subscribers. That's about 20,000 from here. So it doesn't cost you anything to do. Get involved and you might win a lovely watch. Right, let's get into this article. So it's from the Car Dealer Magazine. Again, uh, the sort of thumbnail is, should car dealers be licensed? Trading standards calls for car dealers to be licensed as part of clampdown on rogue traders. Trading standards body says used car dealers should be subject to a licensing system. Chartered Trading Standards Institute says used cars are among the most complained about sectors and the outfit wants stricter consumer protections amid rising reports of dodgy dealers. It'd be nice if it worked both ways, but we'll get into that later on. In its manifesto titled Helping Local Communities and Businesses to Prosper, the CTSI says that interventions by trading standards officers have prevented £1.9 million of consumer detriment when it comes to used vehicles in the past four years. The body said over the last 10 years, the second-hand car market has been one of the most complained about industry sectors in the UK. Rogue dealers who sell cheap, clocked or unroadworthy cars often impact the most financially vulnerable consumers. And that is 100% true. So far this year, Car Dealer has reported on several rogue car dealers who have ended up in court, often with the help of trading standards officers. Yesterday, we brought you the news that a used car dealer in Stockton on Tees had been jailed after he admitted multiple cases of fraud, including selling a death trap Citroen. In January, we also attended a Swansea Crown Court to see a dodgy dealer, Alan Lewis, jailed for selling a dangerous Toyota Yaris, which was rotten to its core. Last summer, South Coast car dealer Ashley Wilson was jailed for wiping a staggering 2.9 million miles from the odometers of 33 used cars. That is some serious haircuts on those cars. That's this lovely chap here, uh, dodgy car dealer, jailed for close to five years at Portsmouth Crown Court. Campaign began while 27-year-old was on bail for separate fraud charges, so he's got history for it, obviously. Going forward, the CTSI is now calling on the next government to introduce tighter checks on car dealers with a licensing system introduced. Details on how such a system would work and how it would be applied remain limited, but the basic principle has been backed by the outfit's key stakeholders, lead officers and members. Outlining its position, the CTSI says trading standards is alert to continued threats of high standards of protection for both consumers and business, and we are at the forefront of identifying new and emerging risks. Our regulators, lawmakers and politicians need to anticipate, plan and respond to these challenges and ensure that the trading standards system is robust enough to deal with them. That's about the crux of the article, really. It's just going on to say that, you know, the trading standards want us car dealers to be licensed and on some kind of register, I guess. Uh, so you would know that you're dealing with a licensed trader, that they are probably adhere to some kind of um, code of conduct, uh, which, you know, a lot of car dealers do anyway. You know, you get the car dealer promise, uh, the AA car dealer promise. We're, we're signed up to that. Um, interesting to hear what you're going to say in the comments about this, because... Funnily enough, this I've seen this being shared around a few kind of car dealer groups and things that I'm involved with, WhatsApp groups, and the kind of resounding answer that we're getting from car dealers um, who are doing the job properly is like, bring it on. I'd love it. I'd love to have it. Um, you know, I'd love to sign up to something because, unfortunately, that rogue element does give, you know, the good eggs... A bad name so everyone gets tired with the same brush i see it in my youtube comments all the time you know you're ripping people off you're selling rock boxes blah, blah blah all this sort of stuff there really is a really sort of negative stigma towards car dealers so if we could sign up to have a license that says that you know what, actually we're doing the job right a bit like me when i'm doing gas because i've got a plumbing and heating company i'm on the gas safe register because i've done all the training and i'm safe and you know i, I know how to do things correctly so i don't blow up your house well, if I could sign up for something to do with car sales for that as well, 
I would 100% do it. Anything that says, you know, that we're above board and honest is great. The only thing I'd say is I would like this if it were to come in. A, it shouldn't cost us an absolute fortune. I don't mind paying to, you know, be licensed to a degree, but I'm not paying like ridiculous amounts of money. And I'd also like it to perhaps be taken into account, perhaps when they do this licensing of used cars, they could kind of reconsider the consumer rights laws when it comes to used cars as well. Because the Consumer Rights Act that everyone likes to quote when it comes to buying a car, it covers everything. It covers everything from buying a sofa to a hair straightener. And, you know, a 15-year-old used car can't really be treated in the same way. So I feel like there needs to be some real change. They need to make some you know, some serious guidelines. It's all well and good saying all used car dealers are dodgy, but if someone's coming back and saying they need to reject the car because they went over a pothole and got a puncture, and therefore that must be the dealer's fault because they've got three months warranty, that is ridiculous. I think there needs to be better guidelines on how everyone can work in this industry together better, and 100% clamping down on people who are selling on Facebook Marketplace um, literally just wiping the car over and sending it out without, you know, a second thought. Much like this guy, what was his name? Uh, Alan, no, Simon Retallick. Um, that's another chap. There was another one, Alan Lewis was the chap with the Toyota. You know, rotten to its core, just getting cars from auction, getting them from anywhere, not looking them over whatsoever. Don't even know if it's rusty underneath. Don't even know if, you know, brake pipes are corroded or anything like that. They are maybe just getting a ghost MOT, you know, paying someone to give them an MOT over the phone and flogging them on to someone unsuspecting. No wonder car dealers get a bad name and everyone thinks that we're ripping them off when, you know, people with a forecourt and a garage and an established business like myself try to do things correctly, spend the money to make sure that the cars are up to scratch, that we can give you the service afterwards and we still get slated because now we're charging too much and we're ripping people off. It's a difficult one and as I say it's going to be interesting in the comments and it'll be interesting to hear from consumers and dealers alike. I think most people will think this is a good idea and I imagine it will come into play and as there are updates I will keep you updated for sure. Um, it can't be anything but a good idea really but trading standards and the government will find a way to make this awkward and stupid and just not fit for purpose because that is what they do best. So while this has a lot of promise, it could end up being a complete nightmare and make things even more complicated. But we will see. Talking of dodgy dealers and buying cars and mileages being wiped off of cars, it's a perfect time to remind you of today's video sponsor, which is Vehicle Score. So if you head to vehiclescore.co.uk, you can get a free score on your car just from its registration based on its age, mileage, MIT history, and many more factors. Barrowmotors.co.uk, and we'll just find the first car that comes up. This Volkswagen Passat. So our registration is Delta Echo 67, Victor Romeo November. Let's get a score. And it tells us it's 749. Good. The average score for one of these vehicles is 699. Not bad. Now, what you can do a million and one things on here, including the mileage tracker, MOT history. If someone's done a report on this car and it's over 20 days old, you can see that paid report for free. Who else does that? You can get a future value estimator. You've got the AI mechanic on there. But most importantly, if you are going to hand over your hard-earned cash, then you need to do a check because that check is going to check for things like whether this car has been written off and that's not been declared to you, whether it's been at a salvage auction and it isn't as an insurance write-off, or whether the mileage might have been clocked. You can do their Salvage Plus report for £2.97, the Ultimate report for £8.97, or the one that I recommend that gives you ultimate peace of mind is the Ultimate Report Plus because it gives you £10,000 worth of Experian data guarantee. It will tell you whether it's an import, export, it's got a salvage check, it will give you a full breakdown of your score, it will check whether there's any finance outstanding on that car, that's a big one you need to look out for. And it will check for mileage clocking as well. And not only that, vehicle score is now running cash giveaways every month 600 pound prize draw this will give you three entries into that as well even better use my code shifting metal 20 and you get 20 percent off making that ultimate report plus just nine pounds 58 so just a very quick video because it's a quick article we don't really have that much information yet there will be more coming out i'm sure and as it does i will keep you updated 
But if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. If you haven't subscribed already, then make sure you do. If you've already subscribed, you're already in with a chance of winning that Tag Who Watch. If you're not, subscribe now. It's free to do. Why would you not? That's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.